All right, guys, we're in Charlotte today. Uh, we're going to show you guys a demonstration of video of a 4200F into a 3000. We're here with Larry Menacakis, um, Metro Line of Meats, and I'm going to let Larry talk a little bit about how he runs his operation here uh, regarding uh, his ground beef. Uh, basically, we have a 4200F. We're going to take this tempered block of shank meat, which is approximately 60 pounds. Uh, the best way that we have found is we're going to take this, uh, this knife. If you're able to pierce the shank meat with, with little to no effort, yeah, rule of thumb, it's ready, ready for the machine. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, just open up the lid. And actually, we already have one in here. We already have one in here. You just throw it in. We're actually just going to close the lid gently and start the mix. You see, it's very quiet. It's almost uh, whisper quiet. And uh, if you want to pan down in here, it's basically it's a you know plug and play. We're going to let the machine do its work. When it's ready, it will come apart. You can see right now it's actually little pieces are coming off. Uh, right now, it's going to go back in the other direction. It's all programmed that way. And uh, right now you can see it's just grabbing it. It's almost uh, torn it apart. Again, I can't mention it's a very quiet machine. I mean, I think it's 130 amps, which is a lot of power, and uh, it needs it. I tell you what, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do one more cycle, and uh, we're going to we're going to run it in. Right now, it's going to back up. As soon as the meat moves to the rear, I'm going to go ahead and run it in. I'm going to go ahead and stop the machine, and now it will automatically go in the direction I want it to go to start feeding. Now it's feeding. We just have to watch for the back pressure. All the meat to be set forward. Uh, I don't want that. So right now, I'm going to just go ahead and stop the machine. I'm going to stop the machine. I'm going to back up the, uh, the meat again, just so it allows the machine not to work too hard. I'm, I'm moving it back now. As soon as it's back, I'm going to stop the machine again. I think you're supposed to wait about five seconds. So I'm going to. I think it's about five. We're going to settle right back in. That should that should be the last of it. And within about five or six seconds, it should be done. There we have it. We just lift the lid. It turns off the... Uh, the uh, motors with the safeties. Uh, you want me? I can put another one in. We had the 4200F. Okay. Uh, we were using a, a biro chipper, which was uh, you needed an act of God to, to try to get the meat shanked, get clipped, take it from a tub, dumping it into another machine. So this machine is actually taking the place of two. Not to mention that the old, either even the old flakers, you needed I think two three hours labor if you're going to get inspection to get the machine clean. This machine, within a matter of five minutes, breaks down and, and it is it is ready to be cleaned. I mean, it's all seamless construction. Uh, again, the machine doesn't break. You push the button, you heard how quiet it was. The other the other machines, we were on the verge of having to have hearing protection because of the decibel levels in here. With these machines now, we don't we don't have that issue. With the other ones, it was a major problem. Depending on your inspector, uh, if, if you came on the decibel meter, uh, you're in trouble. And the machine was very loud. Uh, I mean, we, we love it. I mean, with, with the proper training, as long as you know how to read the meat, if, if the meat is too cold, it will not work. If the meat is too soft, it's, it's not, I mean, it'll work, it, it will go in the machine, but the, the, the product is not going to be to your satisfaction. As long as people know how to temper the meat correctly, which is about 30 degrees, and depending on weather, it may take you, you know, 15, 20 hours to temper that meat. And uh, with, with that in mind, I said, well, you know, we love it. I mean, it's just, it's plug and play. It's coupled to the 3000. Again, the, the machine is the same way. We can clean it within a matter of minutes. It's all seamless construction. There's nothing to get snagged on. All meat particles, it's all smooth finish. Which, you know, if anybody's ever looked at one, you know I'm telling you the truth. 
Uh, the other machines just did not have that. The Byros, the other ones, not to, not to be slanderous, but they just did not have those features as, as the uh, Holy Max. And uh, I mean, that's all I have to say.